<laughs> nice and sunny out today. It's a beautiful February day. Still a few little snow patches on the ground here and there, but it's 50 degrees currently. This area, just a couple years ago, well last year actually, was destroyed by ice. There was an ice dam up the river north and it just caused a whole backup back here and it destroyed this whole area. You can still see some of the, the spots. Okay. I'm trying to talk! Oh, there's the other doggies. What? Is there another doggy? There are lots of other doggies? Wow! Those are actual good dogs. I want you to know that. <laughs> Caused by that ice damage last year, right? Yeah. When we when all the ice blocks formed and just decimated this area. I have some pictures. Actually, we were here, so I can add them in at the end of the video. But um. This whole area was just nothing but ice. And as you can see, it caused some pretty big damage. It looked like a destructive wasteland. Beowulf loves water. He loves water in all of its forms. He would just go swimming out there if I let him. A husky? Not so much. So we'll have to come back here in a couple of weeks. It'll be time for everyone to start walleye fishing run. for the walleye run. So the walleye come to this area to mate and people come here to fish them. Yeah, we'll so we'll come back and show you. Yeah, you can continue to see all the damage that's caused by the ice flow. It was literally around this time last year too. I'm gonna say it was like those last few weeks of January that it all happened. They're blessed with lots of forests in this area. Mm. Uh, tiny little patch of ice, so it should be melted before the day's out, though. This is beautiful. It is such a great, gorgeous, sunny day out. <laughs> I just love how Bay always walks with his tail just slightly, slightly wagging. Is that a good smell? Is that a good smell? Come on. <laughs> Slightly wagging tail. And this area did do its job a couple years ago. It is literally a floodplain, but it took some devastation, that's for sure. It used to not look like the apocalypse. <laughs> now it kind of does. Every Sunday we just go for a nice long walk in one of the parks. We just pick one, it doesn't really matter. Dogs enjoy it. She knows when it's Sunday. She definitely knows when it's Sunday. <laughs> if I'm laying in bed too late, she comes and gets me and starts making all kinds of noises, waking me up. Just let me know that she's ready. Hi. I think the camera should be picking them up now. Hi, all the little faces. Dogs aren't gonna hurt you. I would not let them. Hi. Oh, she sees them. Oh, those are white tails. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bayo sees him too. Do you see him in there? I hope 
I can get them on camera. I think I can see them. Oh, there they go. I'm not trying to disturb you, deers. Deer, I guess. That one must be the leader because that's the one that hasn't moved and is staring at me. The other ones, they've moved quite a bit. Oh wow, look how many of them there are. If you can see through the thicket, there's even more of them. They're all over in there. I've counted at least eight, if not more. Yeah, I should get out of here. It doesn't look like there's any males among them, but I would be a little bit concerned if there was. Hi, dear. We'll go away now. Husky sees them again. Another deer down there, Fifi. <laughs> so I'm actually a little surprised we've seen so many deer because it's kind of early in the day. Usually you see them at dusk and dawn. It's the middle of the day. It's, it's winter and it's nice. They're coming out for food? There you go. Time to take advantage of the season. More. <laughs> There's more deer on the trail. <laughs> These deer, you can tell, are deer that have not been hunted. These are deer on protected parkland. Oh, there they are again down there. If you think about it, though, this is the perfect spot. I mean, humans can't go in that thicket that they're in. The water's literally on the other side. And they're just deer being deer. What deer do? Look guys, there's more deer. Beefy had once again spotted them. She says, hey, I want to go get some fresh venison for dinner. I don't think you can take down deer by yourself, little girl. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little tired out. I think it's still three miles of trail total. Like about Bayo's limits because of his hip dysplasia. But, you know, as long as his tail's still wagging, <laughs> I know that that means he's he's doing pretty good. When his tail stops wagging and he starts dropping back is when I know that he's pretty much done. Um, obviously we watch him for the signs. If we absolutely had to carry him, we would. Is what it is. I'm surprised she's getting this close. She doesn't usually like the sound of running water. He doesn't care. She looks a little uneasy. She wants to get away from it. She doesn't like the sound of running water. <laughs> 